Okay, for this last video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to set track IDs for the whole uh, record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to option click to get rid of this marker because I'm going to use markers. So at the very top of the track, I'm going to hit play and make sure it starts exactly how I want to. Perfect. So I'm going to hit at the very top, I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm going to type in 01 plus the name of the track um, without you. So now I'm going to find where I want that second track to start. Probably right where it actually starts. So um, let's just hit play here. So that's perfect. So I'm going to drop my index marker there and call 02 Wicked Game. And the reason why I'm labeling it as such is when I export these, I don't lose the sequence that they're in because in alphabetical order they'll be in the exact sequence that I want them that I have them laid out. So I don't have to remember which track is first, which track is second. Um, this way they're all alphabetically ordered. Uh, with, they'll all be in alphabetical order in the correct sequence. So this third one's gonna be tricky because there's an overlap. So I'm gonna pick the exact point where I feel like I want the uh, third track to actually start. So. You know, if someone picks this song on Spotify or Apple Music or hits this track on a CD, this is exactly where this song would start. So that's right where my cursor is where I want to start. I can hit the uh, enter key on my number pad. We'll call this 03 um, eternally. And that's all I need to do. I can go to the end and just put an end marker there if I wanted to. Um, if I drop my cursor there and I hit option tab, it snaps back to the next previous edit point. Um, I'm just going to label it end. So why I have these in here, you'll hear it, you'll see in a second. But what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to bounce these all to disk as one continuous stereo track and then re-import it into the session. That way I can break it up into smaller chunks. So I'm just going to select the very end, shift, click, and drag all the way to the top, and then I'm going to bounce it to disk in the exact same sample rate and bit depth as my session. So I'm going to bounce to disk. I'm going to make sure offline is selected 24-bit, um, and I'll call this... Um, full un un unedited EP. I'm going to check import after bounce, so it'll put it into a new track. Um, multiple mono is fine. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with interleaved. Um, interleaved 24-bit 48K, which is my session and uh, file name. And it's going to put it in the bounced files of my Pro Tool session, so I'm just going to bounce it to disk. It's going to write that dithering on there as well as all these effects, so we'll see what it finally looks like as a master here. The whole thing is 12 minutes and 15 seconds, so it's bouncing rather quickly. All right, I'm gonna just click new track. And now this is my full EP. So I'm just gonna mute everything, all these other tracks. So we're just listening to the recorded EP version. So now I'm gonna break this up into the individual tracks. And I have to do this because of the space in between songs, the overlap. This writes that overlap into that one continuous stereo track. Um, let me know if that doesn't make sense to you. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is go to member locations and it's going to snap the cursor to the beginning of each song. I want to make sure that's accurate. So I click on Without You, hit Play, Wicked Game, Eternally, Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is drop my cursor in that track uh, and break those up into smaller tracks that I can then export. So now I'm going to go to Wicked Game. It puts the cursor right where it was. I'm going to hit uh, B or Command E, and that'll break it. Um, 
Then I'm going to do the same thing for the internally marker. It's going to put that right there at 03. I hit the B key, and that's going to break it there. And now I'm just going to label each of these regions. Uh, because as you can see here in my clips window, if I double click on each of these, it just shows a uh, just a name of the full unedited EP, so just a different region. But if I double click, I can label that region. So I can label that first one uh, exactly what my marker is, 01 without you. The second one, 02 Wicked Game. And this third one, 03 Eternally. So with that done, um, I can now export these as my final masters. So I can click on each of these. I can see that it's highlighted the 01 Without You, 02 Wicked Game, and 03 Eternally. So now I can go to this triangular drop-down window, click on this triangle, and click on Export Clips as Files. And now I'm going to choose my final form, like a Pokemon evolving into its final form, although its final form is more lossy and smaller, but I guess it's a reverse Pokemon. Uh, so I'm going to set my bit depth to 16, sample rate to 44.1. Choose. I'm going to just uh, um, put it on my desktop here, and Command-D, and then I'm just going to make a new folder. We'll call it... Uh, EP master final exports or whatever you want to do it and uh, hit open and it's going to export those in this form hit export Hit save, hit go back to my uh, finder, um, hit new, and here I have my master EP, EP final imports. So these are my final masters. These are the final versions, um, exactly the way I want them, 60 bit 441 with the overlaps and edits baked into the file. Let me know if you have any questions and I, if I need to expand this or break it down a little more. Um, this might be the most confusing of the videos.